Hi everybody, it's Thomas here from Thomas Fitzgerald Photography and today we're here with the brand new version of Capture One that's just been released, Capture One 15.2 and this gives us a few new features as well as some bug fixes and improvements and stuff like that. As part of this update, um, one of the things that the release note says is it has improved the AI based auto rotation tool. Now, if you have followed me, if you follow my channel or my blog, you'll know that I've been very critical of the auto rotation tool in Capture One because it frankly hasn't worked very well. In fact, I only just published a video yesterday about it. Um, well, it was about other things as well. Uh, anyway, according to the release notes, um, it has improved the auto rotation tool and in particular when used on images with a clear horizon, which was something that it had a lot of difficulty with before. So here we have an image with a clear visible horizon and let's see how the new improved algorithm does and just in case you think I'm cheating here you can see we are in 15.2 <laughs> okay so here's the new improved version and no still doesn't work as you can see <laughs> if I was to actually straighten this using the straighten tool and you can see it's still considerably off. Um, it is better than it was um, for some images. For other images, it's completely off. Um, so again, if we hit the auto here, as you can see, it's completely off. Um, I think it's trying to correct for the road, maybe. I don't know. But anyway, either way, the new improved auto rotate function is still pretty bad. Okay, so moving on, let's not dwell on this any more than we need to. Um, the big new feature is the auto perspective tool, or to give it its correct name, it's auto keystoning. And if you are familiar with Lightroom, you probably know the Lightroom's upright feature, and this is basically similar to that. Um, there's a couple of differences. For a start, it only does vertical um, perspective correction at the moment, but um, before I get into all that, let me just give you a demonstration. So we'll start with something simple. We have an image here, um, there's very slight um, perspective on this. It's actually more of a rotation really. So so to get to it, uh, you go to the lens tool tab and then scroll down to the keystone tool. This may be hidden, so just unhide it if it is. And you'll see we have this new auto button. So if I click auto here, you can see it corrects it. Uh, and it does an auto rotate on it as well. And funnily enough, the auto rotate in this usually works better than when you just hit the auto rotate, which is weird. Um, and if I go to slider C, you can see it's done a, a very small amount on the vertical. So this is a pretty easy one to do. So let's look for an image with a bit more perspective in it. Um, so we have this one here. And as you can see, there's kind of more of a perspective on the houses here. And again, we hit our auto perspective create and you can see that's a much more dramatic difference um, so to get, a, you get back off the rotate tool and you can see that is so that's as it was before and then the auto so uh, in my experience I've tried it on a good few images and it seems to work reasonably well on most of them um, I have another few here so just um, I tried this earlier so I know this works and if I hit auto and you can see it's fairly straight with the windows um, this middle bit here could probably do with being corrected. So if I was to straighten this. Yeah, so I mean it works most of the time. It can still require a little bit of tweaking but if you've got a lot of perspective it does kind of get you in the ballpark quick enough. Um, let's see here's another image and again this isn't this is kind of more of a rotate thing but I'll hit auto again. And you can see that does a pretty good job. So I'd say maybe 50, 60% of the time it works. Um, there's a few other new features as well. Um, let me see, uh, according to the release notes, it's faster loading times on M1 Max. So I am on an M1 MacBook Pro here. And to be honest, I haven't really noticed any issues with uh, image loading times. Sometimes get slow loading, um, if you haven't been on a collection in a while, it seems to buffer around whatever image you're on. So like, as you can see there, it's almost instant. Um, but supposedly, uh, if you're a Fuji x user, you should notice up to 100% faster loading of your images. Um, again, to be honest, I never really noticed it slow, but 
I'll take their word for it. Um, also, supposedly, preview generation Luma mask rendering and feather and refine masks are now faster than ever. Again, it's not something I ever noticed a huge slowdown on, but it's pati- uh, particularly on the M1 Mac, because um, this has always been fairly fast. So, yeah, seems to work fine for me. Um, I'm going through some rubbish images here, so I'd say most people have disappeared off this by now. <laughs> Uh, okay, so what else? Um, improved auto rotate. Well, we've gone for that already. Um, more intuitive, intuitive uh, crop, crop aspect ratio. So let me just give you another t- image to sh- work with here. So um, what does that mean? Well, if you're familiar with Capture One, and one of the really annoying things about it was if you go into the crop tool and you switch aspect ratios. It used to, you had to click on it before the aspect ratio would update, but now it updates instantly. So if I switch to 16.9, as you can see, the crop mode goes straight to 16.9. Um, if you're not that familiar with Capture One, if you're not really a Capture One user, that probably means nothing to you. And if you are a Capture One user, you're probably saying to yourself, it's about time that that was fixed. And we can't believe it took 15 versions. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's... It's a welcome um, fix, I'm sure. Um, okay, so the other thing they've done is easier access to your favorite tools in the drop down menu. So, what that seems to mean, I'm not 100% certain on this, I'd need to go back to the previous version and double check this. But it used to be the case of if you wanted to get to items up here in the toolbar, you'd have to click and hold on it. Whereas now, if you click on the arrow, it loads instantly. Um, Whereas if you still go to the actual tool, you have to hold it for a second, but it's still fairly fast. So um, I can only assume that that's what that refers to. Uh, it didn't really go into that much detail on that. Um, yeah, so hit me up in the comments if you believe I am incorrect. Okay, so what else we have? Um, you can now change the default sorting. So to do that, you just go into the preferences and you can see in the browser section here, and you now have default sort by. Um, I have mine set to date. And finally, uh, if you use Capture One Live, you can now share session for 14 days um, before it times out. Um, and I don't use Capture One Live, so I can't really comment on that. Um, so yeah, so that's pretty much it. That's a quick overview of the new features in Capture One 15.2. So I hope you found this useful. Don't forget to check out my other Capture One videos and thanks for watching. See you next time.